Hello everyone, I'm lost, and why am I doing my intro while it's raining? Ah, screw it. Welcome to the second ever episode of Weapon Spotlight, where we take a look at a bunch of weapons and we review them from the point of view of invasions. Let's see how good these things really are, eh? Today we're looking at the butcher's knives, and you know, I want to say, this is perhaps one of my favorite looking weapons in the game. The way the handle curls up a little bit, the way the blade is shaped, it just looks amazing. What's not quite as amazing is the moveset. It's pretty standard axe moveset with one exception, which is the heavy attack. While it's really cool, not very good. That reminds me I probably should make a video on that heavy attack, shouldn't I? Anyways, the running attacks are fine. And the jump back attack is kind of cool. Look at that. I, li I like that. Uh, probably That will probably be in the thumbnail now that I think of it. <laughs> Anyways, as far as the Ash of War is concerned, we're using the sword dance. And it's a classic Ash of War. It's really good. It moves you forward, hits people twice. And with the amount of damage we can do, it just destroys. Also, it has this nice little end attack which can be used to mix this. Oh, la, 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 la. Mix things up. You know what? I'm not doing this intro twice. Screw it. I have other things to do. <laughs> as far as damage is concerned, we do pretty good damage. We do 745 AR. The weapon is infused with lightning, so it does a little extra damage in the rain. Oh yeah, see, that's why I'm doing the intro in the rain. Synergy. <laughs> the real reason though is because the weapon does have a lot of dex requirement, so I thought why not just give it lightning infused in order to take advantage of that. Just just take a little extra damage out of it. If we use our flask of wondrous physics, uh, physiques, our steroid flask, a special juice, if we drink our special juice, we will get even more damage. It gets all the way to 840, which is pretty damn good. This weapon also has a special ability. If you hit the person, you don't have to kill them, but if you hit the person, you gain a little bit of health, which sounds pretty good, cool. I, I'm a big fan of these types of regen builds. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to really impact the way we play. I mean, maybe once in a blue moon, it's going to save you, but truthfully, you won't be paying attention to that. Not even almost. And yes, I believe that's all I have to say. Let's just jump in and start offing people, shall we? And we're going to start with something rather stupid. And the first thing I do is take a face full of magic and it hurts really badly. Don't you just love fighting mages? I am basically- oh my god, I forgot I was so close to death. The magic pixel of health there. Now, can I get a hit? No, I thought- I really thought I was uh, close enough to actually get a point of damage there, but I wasn't. And my health is being drained to the nth degree. BANG! I thought I had him? What? And look at this. Slight delayed, <laughs> a slightly delayed reaction. Uh, but here's the good news: the mage is dead, so now I can focus on, well, the other mage really, and that guy doesn't have a lot of health. One singular hit, well, a, a double hit, I suppose, from sword dance will end this fight, and it would be glorious. Is this it? Not quite, but there we go. We pull out the tiny little axe that I brought for just this occasion, and we got one. Next invasion is Stormvale Castle, and I was so happy that I actually got an invasion in Stormvale Castle, until I realized both of these guys have madness spears. The madness spears are probably the best weapons in the game, I think. You know what? Rivers of Blood, all of that. It has nothing on dual madness spears because it procs even through the rolls. I, that's the reason why it's so goddamn dangerous. But I'm gonna give it a go here. We're gonna go at them. We are fighting no king and uh, somebody else. 
I think I will be able to do a solid amount of damage here. But first, I just have to backpedal. <laughs> he blew up. You maybe you didn't see what happened there, but there's a big red barrel, and since the weapon does fire damage, he blew himself up. It didn't take too much damage, but I think we are going to do the smart thing here and run away. The patented lost strategy of dealing with anything. Run away. So, I was thinking, right, maybe we could do something fancy. Maybe we could do something cool and do a jump attack. Just come soaring down from the sky like a meteor of death and destroy them. And do you think I managed to do so? Not even almost. I didn't even attack. So, yeah, not great. I did have a really cool attack there if it had hit and there you go madness hits me i get sniped and murdered ah <sighs> madness man it's so strong moving over to khalid you know from madness to rot i discover a man with a friend and his friend doesn't seem to be at the keyboard at the moment so, we take this opportunity and, uh, absolutely destroy him. 1300 damage. What do you think about that, huh? I don't know if this man is mourning the death of his friend or wondering what he's about to eat tomorrow. He looked a little uncertain. Oh my god, we are doing damage here. And we even got a heavy attack in. I really like that. It looks good, even if it's not very good from, um practical point of view it's still pretty cool the man is using the tree spear i think yes he's using the tree spear and a big block of stone almost sweared i shouldn't swear as much because that would make the youtube gods angry at me it's actually a pretty good fight this man he knows what he does he's actually rather good with his particular setup and I'm just a little too slow. Not too slow with that one, though. And I'm so sad that didn't connect, because it was pretty damn good, that uh, that attack right there. Now, you'll start notice a few things as this battle goes further. And that is that my enemy is learning. He's evolving. He starts to understand the type of spacing that he needs to deal with me. And uh, I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to be... Oh, well, we got a good attack in there, but I'm going to be backpedaling uh, 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 very soon. Also, there was a few hunters in the world, apparently, that... Oh, well, we're still doing good damage, but there's a few hunters in the world that just returned. Maybe it was a connection error, maybe not, but... You know what, I'm just happy I don't have to deal with the blues. And we're having a really good fight here, so that's pretty sweet. This is where things start to get a little difficult for me. As you can see, I'm taking damage. I'm uh, healing in his face. Classic strategy there. Great job, me. I'm switching it up a little bit, trying to use my spark aromatic. I have a lot of decks, and it scales with decks, so it's, it's good to have. But yeah, I am not in a good space here. I wonder, will this man beat me? Well, I don't actually have to wonder because I know I did this invasion already, but you don't know! Look at that! I am so close to death there. He really understands how to deal with me. Luckily, he had, he had to back down. There was a giant dragon there spewing his uh, halitosis on him, and I get a wonderful backstab there. I ran around. I kind of understood that if I... If I time it correctly, I can get it, and boom, we defeat him. It was a great fight, though. GG to that guy. Following up that fight, we are going to fight not one, but two. Yes, you counted. Two Moon Veils. And this is where the Moon Veil gets extra spicy and dangerous. One Moon Veil, not that difficult to deal with. In fact, rather easy. And the dog did not get a hit in there. I am so sad that the dog didn't get a hit in there. It would have been absolutely glorious. Come on, Lost, you better heal up. Because when you're dealing with the moon veils like that, yeah, you are going to be suffering. And the sad part about the moon veil is that you can get... Oh... 
Come on, no, no damage for the me. You get damaged more quickly than you can heal. So you can't heal and get away. And he switches it up! He switches it up to the Rivers of Blood. Honestly, I know these gentlemen are just playing through the game, so I'm not going to complain too much. But as an invader, there is nothing more cancerous than this. Well, maybe Stars of Ruin spam. Stars of Ruin spam, slightly worse. Oh, not great, but I have to do something. I have to try to get in there, actually do damage to them, because we haven't done a lot of damage to them yet. We can very effectively kill them if I get in one hit, at least on the Phantom. I think I should have like one hit and then there we go. If I get another hit in on him now, he'll be dead. But I need to heal up. Come on, heal up me. Heal up me. What am I not healing? What am I doing? Heal up me. Okay, is this... This is this is not great. I didn't... Re I, I really should have taken the opportunity to heal there. Oh, uh, but... Oh, oh. I'm still good, ladies and gentlemen. That almost got me. It is constant movement. Constant danger. And... Oh, no! That's where I died. Look, it was a pretty solid fight for me. I think I could say that... Uh, honestly, since I managed to survive for such a long time, but it wasn't to be. Moving on, we are attacking Priscilla. Oh, look at the lady. And she's also using sword dance. She knows, she knows what's up. It's such a good attack, especially on a weapon with a lot of reach. And you know what has a lot of reach? A scythe. Now, I decided I just sta I'll just stand here for a moment, right? Because... Poison is nasty, and Priscilla just returned to her world. She returned to the painting. <laughs> Which makes it uh, a little unfortunate here for Filth Knight, because that's going to make things way easier for me. I had a little bit of a disagreement there with my friend. We are both uh, kind of, not arguing, but competing for the kill. But he's going to take a back seat and not do much. I'm going to just Poise through those attacks. It could have been pretty good for him if he could have stunned me, but he couldn't. That's This is why we at least have 61 poise, gentlemen. This is why we have that. And I decide, you know what, screw it. I'm going to run straight through the poison. I want this man dead more than I want to have a good hygiene. And here we go. Sword dance for the win. And he's even being nice. Look at him. Back to Furumasula. I mean, back to... We're already there. I get almost one powerful R2. And oh my god! <laughs> I forgot that man. That man got destroyed. Jesus Christ. That uh, That's a uh, poor bastard. This is why Sword Dance is so great. Especially against mages that doesn't really have a lot of health. But we are not out of the woods yet. Just because we're fighting one single opponent doesn't mean that we're going to have an easy time. Ronin here is actually pretty damn good and he's, his attack are really strong. He knows how to create a build. He knows what to do. And at first I thought that was uh, Stars of Ruin. But no, it's the Mage Rain instead, which isn't very good. Which makes me sad. I feel like the out of all of the damage uh, that spells have, this one should be buffed, you know. Stars of Ruin got a buff, I don't know why. This might have gotten a buff as well, but it needs more. Because we can so easily avoid it. Anyway, I'm trying my best here to face through his attacks. And uh, we got him with the double sword dance. He's using a katana, so he's only going to be doing 55 poise damage. I can tank one hit from one of these. Still at the same place, this is an excellent place to get invasions because there's a lot of people going for Malekith. And here we go. I haven't really used the buff a lot because I'm an idiot and I forget that while we're doing invasions. <laughs> but here we go. We have three people against me, but you will soon realize that the other guys are taking a back seat here. They are. And so I'm going to be allowed to deal with them one at a time. Now, I didn't really understand what was happening uh, until a little while in. And, oh, here comes the madness. 
and he didn't actually hit me. He should have just hit me with a normal attack. I heal up because it's an invasion. I don't care if uh, they're being nice to me. I'm there to murder them, right? So bang, we hit him twice with the sword dance and we are back, baby. He seemed like the most dangerous of all the opponents, you know, big as shield. And he also used... He also used the Madness Bear, but a couple of do uh, sword dances later, and uh, boom, man down. It's just you and me now, Bresty. His name is Bresty. That's... Well, it's not cool, but, you know, I get happy when I think about breasts, so... Yeah. Anyways, he also has a nice little Madness Bear. We get one good hit in there. It's not bad. Uh, we're kind of feeling each other out at this point. I need to back down a little bit because I have a lot of... I have a lot of madness built up. And don't get me wrong, sanity is certainly overrated, ladies and gentlemen, but... Oh, right! That ended in a connection error. That's unfortunate. But I got the other two, so it was worth a save anyways. Oh, here we go. I thought I had something different than sword dance. I have a ham a, 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 a hand axe in the other hand, and I thought I was going to yell at him with uh, a beast roar, but uh, no such thing, I'm afraid. I'm trying to do my best here to destroy this man before the other guys manage to um, uh, kill the mob and focus on me. I didn't get the hit there, and oh my god, here comes the second phantom. Which makes things more difficult. And Stars of Ruin. Of course it Stars of Ruin. It's not great for me. He Stars of Ruins me from the top there. I'm trying to take a... I'm trying to uh, save myself by finding cover at the wall. But I just gotta run, man. I can't deal with that uh, that stuff. So instead, we are using the patented Lost My Sanity Run Away Technique. It's one of the best techniques that exist, really. So we hide at the wall here, right? We hide at the wall. You think it doesn't want to work, but it does work. Look at that. I don't know why this, what this man is thinking, but he just walked straight through my uh, attack and he dies from a delayed damage. You know, that, that happens. You gotta ask yourself, what was this guy doing? Uh, back over at the first steps... We're actually invading a guy who's using a tongue. And every single person who uses a tongue needs to get respect. Every single one. Because it makes the game much more fun to play for us invaders. We get a good backstab in on him. We do. And then we follow up with a wonderful sword dance. And we also follow up with another sword dance there's a lot of sword dance in this i know but it is our best attack and we gotta stick to it and that's another kill Ooh, this here is a good one i spawned in on top and our friend Mado is at the bottom and of course we we miss i know but hey we can still kill him a little awkward there at the end due to the lag, but it was worth showing to you guys. <laughs> Ooh, his name. I can't read his name. He's a man of mystery. And he also a man of hitting us in the face. Not great. You gotta be careful when you're fighting this sword because it can do a ton of damage. That's not going to be useful though if you don't have a ton of health. Always have 60 health, ladies and gentlemen, when creating a build, when fighting against other players, because if you don't have at least 60 health, or, yeah, 60 health, it's going to be bad for you. Now, no matter how much health you have, you can very easily get gangbanged. You can. And so, if you find a phantom like this gentleman alone without his friends, well, you have to do the responsible thing and destroy him. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a delay here in the connection which doesn't allow me to get the hits in that I need before I spot his friends there in the distance. And they come with a lot of magic and I just get melted. My face is off, you can see my skull, you can touch my brain. It is not a very good day. So we're just gonna disregard that continue on We go back here and Toby the Tarnished is now on the chopping block. He tries to do a little 
wiggle, I suppose. Uh, he shouldn't do that, because uh, that gives me an opportunity to do some damage. Uh, we are doing, well, it's great sword or colossal sword uh, duels, so expect the pokes. But my damage is too great. Well, that certainly was a bunch of invasions, wasn't it? You know what? It didn't go too bad. Granted, a lot of the work was done by Sword Dance in this regard, because it's just so good. But even so, the amount of damage that we could get on this weapon was really awesome. I kind of recommend that if you want to go with a axe like this, you should probably use two of them. Dual wield them. I didn't do that in this situation because I really wanted to see how the weapon would perform on its own. But if you do have a multiple heavy axes that you can use, then I suggest you try to do that. This heavy attack would be devastating, for example. You would one-shot a bunch of people if you did. So I want to give this weapon a... Cool out of 10. <laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna murder every single person that you meet, but hey, it's a fun weapon. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, remember to subscribe or I will shank you in the throat and kisses.